Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Nathan Fox, that's Ben Olson. Together we're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We've got an email here from Taylor. Hey guys, I could possibly attain my semi-dream job working as a terrain park manager for a local ski hill this winter. Cool. Okay, great. Good luck. This position is a full-time, sorry, is full-time and might conflict with my undergrad schedule. I'm thinking of only taking two to three classes to allow myself to work at this job. Will law schools view this negatively? I have a 3.83 UGPA currently, and I'm dead set on receiving A's for the remainder of my undergrad career. I just don't know if law schools would judge me for taking a lower course, course load for a couple semesters. Is this even an issue if I'm not getting all A's? I'm sorry, if I'm getting all A's? I don't think it matters. Nope, not gonna matter one bit. In fact, I mean, having a job and being able to talk about it and what you learn from it could be well worth. Well, especially this, because they're just not going to get very many applications from a terrain park manager. I mean, yeah, like get straight A's and then write your personal statement about kicking ass as a terrain park manager. Yep. That's awesome. That'll be great. Like they'll have some flavor of what it's what what you did as a you know, you're going to have stories about managing people or little little tragedies that happened and you were there to fix them or who knows what there's like all kinds of cool stuff there not to, not that you have to write it about that but i mean even on a resume right even as a bullet point on a resume that's a cool thing that somebody might go oh wow this guy's like probably a great skier uh or gal is a great skier and uh that's yeah i just think that's like super super cool yep get as you know to get the a's that's that's all that matters yeah, get the A's. Yeah, take fewer classes. Do what you love. Get this dream job. Put off law school as long as possible. <laughs> um, and when you do apply, you're going to have like cool experience to talk about and straight A's. Yep. There, I, I'm like doubting that the schools are even going to notice that you took a lower course load for a couple semesters. Nope, I don't think they're going to notice. I think they're going to look at your GPA. Especially because we're still just coming out of a three year global pandemic where everybody's academic record got all jacked up anyway. Yeah. So get the yeah, the the GPA. I mean, get all A's from here on out. Right. Like try to bump up that three point eight three if you can. Whenever you're ready, get the best LSAT you can. But no, that's take <laughs> it's like if it's your dream job, the answer is take it. Like, I don't care what it does to your law school applications. And here it doesn't do anything to your law school applications anyway. Yep. Possibly make them better. Cool. Thanks, Taylor, and good luck. Tell us how that goes. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or show some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.